Economists say growing opposition to the e-toll system in Gauteng can be compared to a tax revolt. And Greenpeace says South Africa faces a serious water and electricity crisis should ESCOM go ahead with its Kusine coal plant in Limpopo. I'm Richard Brooks. Economists say growing opposition to the e-toll system in Gauteng can be compared to a tax revolt. The High Court in Pretoria yesterday granted an interim interdict, putting the e-toll system in Gauteng on hold. Economist Davi Ruert says this is the fifth time the implementation of the system has been postponed. He says it seems that politicians do not have the process under control and that taxpayers are rebelling. People on don't mind paying for a service, but our tax burden went up the last couple of years. We know that state expenditure is not very well done. Just have a look at the Auditor General's report, for example. And people are simply sick and tired of, of, of keeping on paying and an increase in taxes and the toll is just another tax while the money is not always that well spent. The opposition to Urban Toning Alliance has urged Gauteng motorists not to buy e-tags until the reviewed court process on e-tolling has been finalised. The alliance was responding to yesterday's judgment, which effectively put the launch of e-tolls on hold. This doesn't stop Sanrel from selling e-tags. Judge Bill Prinsloer said this could lead to Sanrel paying the debt. This could result in the business rating of Sanrel being downgraded and also impact on its ability to execute other necessary projects. The government, which guaranteed compliance on behalf of Sanrel, may then be called upon as a result of an acceleration clause in the contract to pay the full debt of some 20 billion rand at once. Greenpeace says South Africa faces a serious water and electricity crisis should ESCOM go ahead with its Kusile coal plant in Limpopo. Greenpeace Africa has challenged ESCOM to cancel Kusile in order to avoid the twin crisis of unaffordable electricity and water scarcity. The organization also says electricity prices are set to jump by 16% again this winter and South Africans are progressively unable to afford the price of electricity. Climate and energy campaigner for Greenpeace Africa, Melita Steele. Kusile is going to use 26 million cubic meters of water per year. For every unit of electricity produced, Kusile will use 173 times more water than wind power would use. What we're challenging ESCOM to do is cancel Kusile and instead take the over 120 billion rand that's been invested in Kusile and start investing that in South Africa's futures and in renewable energy and in large-scale energy efficiency. The situation is calm in Ikanhala Township near Bronkhorst Spreit, east of Pretoria. This after residents embarked on violent protests against lack of service delivery. A Putko bus was set on fire and several shops belonging to Pakistani nationals were vandalized and looted. Teket Chakif has accused police of not helping him when his shop was vandalized. First, I'm coming with my brother there. He said, you must help, please. This people, no, I'm not helped. My car is broken. I'm not going now this time. Another police is come for Soweto. I'm going straight. Please help us. Two times he's gone. After that, people is run away. After he's come back, he said like this. He take all his stuff, nothing. I'm stuck. Now it's already, I went four months, 75,000. I'm built 35,000. And then 110,000. I was there. All money now is gone.